Hello everyone, this is Keith Cooks. I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do another Christmas thing. Duh. I'm going to make a quick and easy cheat Christmas pudding and also some brandy sauce to go with it. Yum! <laughs> Couple of shout outs before we start, one for my new Patreon fan, Sam Aitchison, thank you. And also three recent donors, JT Music Box, thank you Jonathan, uh, Sarah McEwen and Penny March. I really appreciate it, thank you. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe. And when I say subscribe, I mean subscribe, hit the subscribe thing and then hit the bell so you get all the notifications. Let's just say I would really like to get 100,000 subs sometime this century, if not before Christmas. All right. Okay, Christmas pudding, traditionally a long drawn out affair involving hours and hours of steaming. So you need to start it round about the time you put the sprouts on in September. Um, failing that, do this. Cheat like a cheaty thing using mincemeat and then the microwave oven. Yes. So you can probably have this done in um, 35, 40 minutes. We'll see. Okay, let's get on with it. Ingredients for the pudding. I've got 350 grams of self-raising flour, um, a teaspoon of baking powder, uh, 350 grams of mincemeat that can be homemade or you can buy it from the shop, but my homemade recipe is much, much better. And I did it a couple of weeks ago, so we'll link it somewhere. Juice and zest of one orange, 120 grams of demerara sugar, a splash of vanilla essence and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Also two eggs, 75 grams of butter, 120 grams of aha, <laughs> I've got mixed fruit. You could also use 120 grams of chopped nuts, uh, walnuts or almonds or a mixture but you know I'm, I'm not mad keen on nuts and things. So there. And five tablespoons of brandy. I want to show you this. This is a little mini measure and it's marked off in teaspoons, tablespoons, ounces and milliliters. And it's incredibly useful because when you try and measure something with an actual tablespoon it goes everywhere and it's nowhere near accurate. So that's brilliant. But it only goes up to two and a half tablespoons so I must remember to do another one of those when I put it in the mixture. Okay, let's get on it. I need to get my 350ml of mincemeat. Turn the scale on first, it's a good idea. Okay, done it. 357, that'll do. Alright, grand. Now, zest and zeus. <laughs> zest and juice of the orange. Now we need to dejuice the orange. Now we need to combine the mincemeat with the sugar and the butter. I'll just cut that into bits because it has to melt and it'll be easier to, to melt it if it starts off in bits. The zest of the orange and the juice. Okay, and the brandy. So, two and a half tablespoons. So, two and a half tablespoons, that's basically, oops. Up to there, in we go, and we microwave that for three minutes, but um, stop it after one and a half and give it a stir. Okay, that's, well, butter not completely melted, but we'll just stir that, it will melt. Now we need to lightly beat the two eggs. Right now I need to add the cinnamon, the extra dried fruit or nuts if you're using those. Stir those together and then add the eggs. Mixy mixy. I'm just going to put my sploosh of vanilla extract in with the wet stuff and pop the wet stuff in with the dry stuff. 
Oh wow, <laughs> that smells magnificent. Okay, we'll get that mixed in, then mix in the other half and I'll come back to it. And it's moments like this when the going gets tough that you uh, wish you had a machine that would do this for you. And then you remember that you do have such a machine, but it's too late to use it now. How come? And I think I might have too much mixture, actually. But uh, the plan is I'm going to make it in this glass bowl because it has to go in the microwave. I was going to use this sort of proper pudding basin shaped pudding basin, but it's metal, so I don't want to put it in the microwave. At this point, I must ask you a question. What is the difference between a buffalo and a bison? You can wash your hands in a bison. I'm going to butter the inside of the bowl and a lot of recipes say to put a disc of greaseproof paper in the bottom of the bowl. Um, they never say why, but so I don't know, but I'm doing it anyway. I think it's just to absolutely guarantee that the bottom won't stick. All right, let's uh, fill it up with the mixture. Oh, we might, might be okay. Uh, I was pretty sure we'd have far too much. Now I'm going to pop the pud in the microwave for eight minutes and then test it with the skewer to see if it's anywhere near done. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> well, I should have expected that because it was self-raising flour, but um, I didn't. All right, and that's very wet. And there was a massive blast of um, brand, brandy and alcohol. Uh, and I was, just, I was just reading through the recipe. I put a lot more brandy in than I should have done. I put five tablespoons in it, it should have only been two. The five tablespoons goes in the brandy sauce. Ho oh, oh hum. Right, uh, well, I'll give that another, I don't know, four minutes. It's a tough one, it's still a little bit moist at the tip, so I'm going to give it one more minute. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm just going to leave it in there for about 15 minutes before I try to get it out. And I might slice the top off flat. Now for the brandy sauce, I've got 50 grams each of butter plain all-purpose flour and granulated sugar. I've got five tablespoons of brandy and and 500 ml of milk. So it's an absolutely bog-standard white sauce except it's sweetened with sugar and flavoured with brandy. So we start off by making a roux, we melt the butter in a small pan and when it's all melty-melty we stir in the flour and get that all combined. Then we add a bit of the milk and get that combined into a like a thick paste. And then we add the rest of the milk and mix that. Add the sugar, stir that till it's well combined. And then finally add the brandy and just let that bubble away for a few minutes and then if you're ready to use it, use it straight away or keep it for another day. Oh, that's still hot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if I can trim off the top. It seems to have stuck onto the plate. I don't think I need to. Um, Have a go. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at that. It's uh, it's quite a bit paler 
than Christmas puddings normally are, but I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, all right, well, I guess we'll have to do a taste test. Oh, it's dark in there. <laughs> so we're gonna flame the pud with brandy. And to do that, you need to warm your brandy up. Otherwise it actually won't catch fire. I'll just stick that on the stove. Okay, my uh, brandy is pretty warm. So I'm just gonna very carefully pour it over the pud. Because we don't want to burn down the house on this auspicious day. And I'm going to breathe fire on it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It won't be that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What are you like? <laughs> right, I'm going to just see if I can. This might go all flamey way me. That'll be dead exciting. I know. Nearly. Yeah. Oh, it is. Go on. It's on fire, is it? Carefully. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Blue flame. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Any minute now, the fire alarm's going to go oh, off. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Job done. Can we eat it now, please? Can we hug? Can we hug? Can we hug? I don't know, it's on fire. You can't no, it tell stopped, it. isn't it? No, the flame's gone out. <laughs> See, on TV, they've got special effects. Well, they've got somebody who can turn the lights out across there over there, but... Um, yeah, anyway, all right, okay. <laughs> Hello, babe. <laughs> How Is it taste test time? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Can we turn the lights off? Oh, no, because we'll, the we'll no, complete invisible. No, no, yes, because no. Because no. No, no. No, 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 no. Yes, no. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Now, if this doesn't work, it's my fault because I said, look, why don't you have a go at oh. making it with your mince meat. Uh, mince meat that you made instead of you know all the dried stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. And that's. A I'm completely gonna... doable thing. Who's got a hat? Is that the old? That's the one that doesn't fit anybody. Oh no, we need Just to get. Just my hair's falling down. Well, we're nearly a third of the way through December. We haven't got anything down from the attic. We haven't got the Christmas tree. <laughs> um, and yeah. that's so. nice. Oh, mm. oh that's very nice. Yeah. And very light compared it's to... It's good actually, isn't it? Wow, there's a lot of brandy in that. Which is hardly surprising after all our efforts. That is, um... Damn fine pudding. Damn fine pudding. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. Mm. So, um, nice. Brandy sauce. Yep. We all love a figgy pudding. I knew there was a song. There is a song. Yeah. yeah, so we wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, we all love a figgy pudding. It's got everything but figgy in it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Woo. That was most melodious. It was, wasn't it? Yeah.